Hi, this is Rex. And I'm Lori. And we are here tonight at Castle Dark at Castle Park for their Halloween haunt. And it's also a gothic takeover from the Inland Empire goth community. So that's pretty exciting. We've got two different things going on at the same time. So, all right, we're going to go in there and see what we can find. All kinds of great things. So hang with us, okay? Come on, boys and ghouls. Well, here we are at uh, Castle Park, and I haven't been here in a while, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens. It should be fun, so let's take a walk around and see what's going on tonight. You guys should go follow Day Trippers Adventures. Hey, we met a really nice person here. What's your name? Emily. Emily, okay. Emily would like to be here tonight with us, you know, for the goth event. The only problem is she's doing such a great job working and selling lots of bubbles. <laughs> so, all right, Emily, we'll be seeing you around the park. Thank you. Well, I love corn dogs, and they're, they must be pretty good here because there's a huge line here at Duke's Frying Factory, so I may have to stop and get one a little later on. Okay, I got a young lady here by the name of Heather. How you doing, Heather? Good, you? <laughs> Pretty good. And what are you here for tonight? I'm um, here for the Inland Golf Castle Park after dark. You know, pretty interesting. Just here to like get to know some people, have fun. That's it. <laughs> Wait a minute, Lori. That's what we're here for. Exactly. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to be wandering around the park and seeing who else we meet and all, seeing all the exciting stuff around here. So. All right, Heather, have Thank fun, and we'll so see you a little Heather. later tonight. Okay, here we are, day trippers, and we're at the rope drop getting ready for them to let us all in here. So it's pretty exciting. You know, Lori and I have been waiting for this for quite a while, so we're all excited to see what happens today. So just sit back, relax, and we'll show you where we go. Okay, we're getting ready for the rope drop. It's getting exciting now. I swear I saw him.
rope is down and here we go. Well, we seem to be heading into the fog, so I guess that's where everything starts happening. So keep your eyes open, everybody. We don't know what to expect or what we're going to see. Yeah, the nice thing about Castle Park is they have all of those old-time favorites like the Tilt-A-Whirl. They have a small train over here. They have lots of great rides and attractions, so it'll be fun, but, you know, we can't wait to see all the other exciting things that pop out of the smoke and fog at us. I love plague rats. Thank you, yes. He's had the plague for over 2,000 years. Wonderful. Look at, look at this, boy, I tell ya. Welcome to the dark. Castle Dog. All right. Well, that we got our first welcome here, so that's a good thing. So now we can just keep on looking for all the other exciting things we see. The moon is high. The population of kids under 13 is disturbingly high. Ah, okay. Well, here's the first maze that we've come across. It's called the Fun House, and I, I can imagine what we'll find inside, but uh, all together, we're having a lot of fun here. Checking out everything at Castle Park is really, really great. And like I say, I have not been here in a while, so it's interesting to see everything that's going on out here. You know, since I was a kid, I haven't been on one of these one of these uh, flying saucers. These are just really cool where the floor drops out from under you. It's just very, very cool. So, and here's some of the townspeople there. But, uh, yeah, it's really, it's interesting out here. For somebody that hasn't been here for a while, you get to see a lot of different things. And they have a, one of the best carousels over here. This thing is just huge and it's, it's done really well and it's all undercover, so it's really nice. So we are going to be looking for anything that just catches our eye and this really catches my eye. And I think, I think as we go through here, we're going to find a lot of exciting stuff. The bumper cars are always a favorite and I can see a lot of people are having a great time on the bumper cars tonight. Okay, now we're over by the arcade and the golf, and we're going to go over here and have a little chance to maybe shoot some golf here. Well, they have a really large arcade in here. They've got lots of games and everything, but I also heard there's a dark ride in this building, so we're going to go around until we find it. Okay, we found a dark ride called Ghost Blasters, so we're going to go inside and see what it's like on the inside of this ride. Well, Lori, are you ready for Ghost Blasters? We're getting up to the front of the line now. Almost ready. It's almost there. And you know what? I'm going to beat Rex. What do you think? Well, actually, I'm going to be shooting something different. I'm going to be shooting this camera, so I probably won't get any score at all. See? I'll be beating Rex. There you go. And there goes Lori. Lori's off in her car, and I'm going to be following her next. Okay, here we go. I can't hit that one. This is over. Okay. Now go get the real ghost. All right, we're going in here, and I'm going to try to shoot both at the same time. Anything. I had to turn off the camera. It was so bad. So 
Anyhow, but it was a lot of fun, and the, it's a really well done ride, a lot of bright colors. They've really done it up almost like a Disney type ride. It's absolutely fun. I, I recommend it, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we can do. I think we're going to do some miniature golf now. Yay! Well, it's getting close to 9 o'clock, and we're supposed to meet at the carousel to meet all the different people that have come to this event. So we're going to have to hang around here and see how they do. In the meantime, the carousel's about ready to take off. So let's get a really good look at everybody as they start on their little ride around the circle here. Well, we've got, gotten word that the goth takeover is not the only thing that's going on tonight. There's also homecoming. And so for that reason, you know, people are still waiting in the parking lot to try to get in. So it's pretty crazy. What's the goth line? Tell, tell them a little bit about the goth. Okay, well we got a whole bunch on here, so we're waiting for the the carousel to get in motion and Lori's gonna be sitting there and there's a whole bunch of people so we'll kind of spot them as we go. I love this I love this whole carousel. It's a beautiful there's a carousel. Lot of us on this carousel, you're gonna see many other interesting people. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's pretty noisy in this building, so if you didn't hear everything Lori said, that there's going to be a lot of goths on this particular carousel, so you'll see them in here wearing their different attire. So it's it's getting close now to the time when they're going to take off, and then we'll watch the whole ride as it goes through here. So let's see. Oh, I heard the bell. That sounded like it was getting ready to take off. Let's hope that's let's hope that's the start. Oh, Lori, there you go. All right. Bye. All right. So here goes the carousel. Did you have fun, Lori? I loved it. All right. Good. You know, this had it grow longer than it does at like one of these carousels would at Disneyland. All right. So, day okay. troopers, this is Marajani. This is one of my best friends from Ren Fair and from Backstay at Disneyland. Yeah, hell no. That's awesome. I love that. Story. So, here's the question <laughs> What got you to start in the back movement? Oh, gosh, I've been a goth since. 34 years ago. So my brother and my cousins were punk rockers. And uh, I don't know, I just got exposed to the punk rock scene really early. And then as I got older, the death rocks and goth scene came along and I was hooked. Never, never changed course. Like 34 years, corpse face and uh, you know, who's fishnets. Your, who's your favorite goth artist? Oh or, God, um, I could Oh, dude, I, I just can't even narrow it down. Um, so many people over the years. I mean, are we talking music? Are we talking video? Are we talking, like, print? Are we talking... We're talking, <laughs> we're talking like, entertainers. 
that could be music, that could be TV shows. So one of my absolute favorite for a really long time has been Assemblage 23, which is why I wanted them for uh, Golf on the Mountain. I just, you know, um, Tom Shear is from the Inland Empire. A lot of people don't know that because he doesn't live here anymore. But um, his music just is really deep. Like it's very uplifting. My mom's like, you're always so positive for such a dark person. I was like, yeah, I know. It's the music I listen to. <laughs> and it's just so raw, you know, like his, his emotion is just so raw. It just touches me every which way. So I have an air question for you. Have you heard of Creepsodica? No, I haven't. Oh, My head's kind of been like this with all the planning okay. for Creep, everything. Creepsodica is a group that Rex and I found when we went to the, um, we went to Valley High for the Tiki Oasis, and they were doing Tiki Mug release at Valley High. Oh and wow! The band is called Exotica. It's dark wave surf music with a zombie steam type feel. How fun! So you got that dark, you got the, you got the old sixties type music, but the darker, but you got the beach feel to it. Nice. Yeah, we'll have to get them out for one of our goth beach parties. Well, we were supposed to do one this year and it didn't happen, so it, last minute there were some permit issues. But we are definitely planning a goth, uh, goth beach party for next year. I'm working on a goth picnic. I'd love a cemetery picnic, but you know, it's finding a cemetery that's willing to let a bunch of people come in and tromp all over the graves. Then again, sure you know, a bunch of people just show up at once and you land there, like... Um, but, I mean, I'm thinking about Fairmount Park in Riverside. I know a lot of stuff happens in Riverside that's kind of been the seat of the Inland Empire golf community for a long time. You know, I just thought of the cemetery. 14th Street. Oh, Evergreen. Oh, it's all it's all uh, gated up now. They do movies there and stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, they just showed Rocky Horror last Saturday. I didn't get to go because we had the golf swap meet. I was pretty beat at the end of the day, but it was supposed to, it was really good. A lot of people showed up. I guess my question to, to you is, why are you at Castle Park tonight? Well, when Magic Mountain pulled the contract for Golf on the Mountain, Mandy, who does a lot of the group organization and sales here, reached out to me and basically said, we're really sorry that was really crappy and we want to give the Goths a home. We know Riverside's been the seat of the Goth scene in the Inland Empire. And we want to welcome you to come do a takeover night. We'll give you a great deal, killer price. And we have a haunt, so why don't you come during haunt? It would be totally fitting. So here we are, goth takeover. We've well, got over 130 glad. people here. I'm glad you did it because you've done such a great job, you know, and it's just really fabulous to have you here. So thank you. Uh, My favorite goth start for me was Club Metro. Oh yeah, we all started at Metro. <laughs> I love Club Metro. I, I keep trying to find someone to do a documentary or make a movie, write a screenplay about Metro while we're all still alive to talk about the Metro days, right? I think we could think of, I think of a few people. Well, and you know they have a Club Metro reunion every year. No. Black Friday in Riverside at Concert Lounge. Oh my gosh. So this Black Friday, three floors, three rooms. Old school Metro at its finest. Oh, that would be wonderful. Yeah, DJ Jedi does it. You know, he's, yeah. Really? DJ Jedi? Wow. Yeah. Classic Club Metro DJ. But I'd love to keep talking, but it looks like it's almost photo shoot time. Oh, yes it is. And I think it's time for us to get some people uh, starting to build up. I wanted to do it on the steps, but looking at it, there's so much light from the carousel, we would all just be silhouettes. So I think if we do it over here and use the light from the carousel, it might work better, don't you think? I agree, I agree. All right, well, thank you guys for doing this for me, and we're gonna have more fun all evening long here. Yeah, we're here till midnight. Photo, we're having our first group photo for Inland Empire Goth right now, 10 o'clock. And then we're gonna go off and play and do some mazes, go play some mini golf, ride some rides. It's gonna be a great time. And we're hoping to make this a regular thing, all ages, uh, you know, probably quarterly or something. Maybe once a season. All right, kind of thank you very much. Thanks guys. All right, day trippers, we're getting an exclusive walkthrough on a specific maze here at Castle Park. So let's see how it goes. Sounds like this is the biggest and most exciting one they have. Well, we just went through a maze and it was a lot of fun. And it was a really long maze and it was pretty cool inside. They don't have quite as many scare actors as Not Scary Farm. But then again, they're a lot newer at doing this. Knott's has been doing it for 50 years, so 
we look forward to seeing what they come up with next year but overall we had a great time so it's about time for Lori and I to start heading towards the gate well Lori we're about ready to call it a day what do you think you guys got to come out to this haunt at least once it's really nice and Castle Park has changed so much but there's still a lot of nostalgia here I tell you, it's been a really nice night, and I, I've had a great time. We even played eight holes of mini golf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kind of got tired after eight holes of it, but... But we chose the hardest course, what can you say? <laughs> so... We thought but, we were up for the challenge, but we failed. <laughs> yeah, with all the running around through mazes and getting on rides and things like that, kind of wore us out, but anyhow, we were having a great time, so... I hope you guys enjoy the video, and in the meantime, Lori, what do you want to say? Guys, have a happy Halloween if we don't talk to you before then. May it be safe, may it be sane, but have fun. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Oh, and click that bell, because if you don't click that bell, you won't be notified for all our great videos. Thank you, everybody. Have a great evening. Bye.